What's up, Orbit Zone? Crazy here. We got this bad boy, the Verona model from Morosi. We're going to be talking about here in this video. So please don't go anywhere. Stay tuned. Review time. Let's go. Alrighty, um, let's let's get into the build quality and what it took to get this bad boy together first. First of all, it came very quickly as far as shipping goes, which was nice. Um, it was, it, you know, the mail in Colorado is not so good, so it, I was surprised how quickly it got here. And also, it's it's very nicely built. It's, there's nothing light about this chair as far as other computer chairs that I've dealt with, so it's very nicely built, heavy quality. So thank you for that, Arosi. Very nicely done. The build went well. Of course, if you haven't noticed, it's playing somewhere here on the screen. Kind of a little fast quality for you to see what it went through to get it together. It has got a uh, five-prong or five-spoke design on the feet. It rolls nicely across the floor. Um, I have hardwood floors, so it's nice that they put plastic wheels on it so it doesn't scratch them up. It, but the legs themselves are steel, so I'm not worried about them rolling up and twisting like some cheaper models of plastic feet go. Um, and then of course it's got a really nice strong gas shock that does have its function up and down with a locking feature. We'll get into that in just a few minutes. Reclining feature once again we'll cover that as well. The materials and that it's made out of seems very 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 strong. Of course the arms adjust with some padding on the top and it feels like a nice tubular steel frame underneath. Now I spend a lot of time sitting. Um, I drive for a living sometimes I'm in the vehicle uh, you know four or five hours a day and it's a, you know, it's a captain's chair in a large vehicle, so I'm used to the way something like this feels, so it feels very good to me to come home and sit in something of a nice quality with the proper lumbar support, as you can see here, and the, and the headrest. Um, I've actually fallen asleep in this chair, so it's very, very comfortable. As for the materials go on the outside, it's um, it, very easy to clean. Um, it's not leather. It, it does not feel like leather. It feels uh, very, you know, very um, and man, man made or synthetic, but very similar as far as the feel goes. So it just takes something but a damp cloth to uh, wipe it down and, and keep it clean. Um, stitching feels strong. I've been using it for a couple of weeks now before we got to this point, and uh, you know, no signs of wear and tear. Um, like I said, it's got the full recline feature right here. Of course, it does go up and all the way back. Um, of course, I didn't show it all the way back, um, but it does. It doesn't lay you out flat, but it does go far back, kind of like a lazy boy or a recliner. As far as any issues with the build that I had itself, the one issue that I had was getting this guy put in right here. And I'm gonna show it out here. This issue right here, um, getting this guy into place, that one bolt into the bracket that you know it's the arm for the recline. Um, in my opinion, the bolt was too short, um, so it was hard to line it up. It took me a couple of minutes, so it was a little frustrating. Other than that, it went smooth. Love the chair, of course. Uh, I got the green and uh, green hot, no, gray and black variant as far as the color variation. But if you look around here in a second, probably pop up as I'm talking about this. Um, you'll see there's a lot of other color variants you can order up. So head over to Arazi and. Uh, <coughs> Check out uh, all the other different makes and models they have. Of course, the link will be in the description of how you find their website. Um, but they have a lot of different variants of models. This is the Verona, uh, the Verona model, which is their kind of their latest and greatest from what I understand of what they're doing. And I totally dig it. Um, I'm not a small person, you know. I'm, you know, I'm a couple hundred pounds. I would be your average person, I guess, as far as build goes. You know, I'm not real tall. I'm not real short, and it fits me well. Um, but of course, I don't have it elevated all the way up, um, so people with longer legs will be comfortable if they have a little bit slender, more slender build. And then of course, you can lower it down for people with a little bit shorter as well. And all of this, you know, you can move the pillows anywhere you want. Uh, accordingly, they're just straps, and of course, I have mine kind of laid into place in the back of. There's nothing on the back as far as design goes, so I might have to break out some paint brushes or uh, the airbrushes and do something cool with this because I like to customize everything. But uh, other than that. That and you know that there's no, nothing back here. Kind of it's cool that they leave you a blank canvas for those who like to customize, like myself. So I'll do something cool on the back of it. Maybe we'll show that off at a later day. Um, but 
great build. Feel free to check it out. Definitely in on par with other top end chair makers for your uh, for of course your command center or whatever else you're doing at your computer desk. I wouldn't recommend any other. Um, so thanks for watching, guys. Thank you, Orozzi, for the build. And, of course, thank you, everybody at Orbit, for all of your uh, enduring support. And, of course, you guys, the fans, thanks for watching. And, of course, all of your enduring support. And uh, don't forget to use that co that discount code when you head over there to pick up your Orozzi chair. We'll check you out next time. Peace. This video is brought to you by G2A.com.